What's up amigos? Welcome to Ink Builder. If you're new, my name is Antonio and today I'm going to be talking about the exact paper that I used as screen printing film, so stay tuned. Okay, so first let me explain. Here where I live, locally they don't sell screen printing film and the only place where I could get it is in Mexico City, but that's a long trip and also it's quite expensive. And here was the majority of the people they use is this paper called albanene, which is this right here. And this is also known as onion paper, vegetable paper, and tracing paper. Now here, in my city, they should sell only uh, letter size, so like this size right here. And this one they call it around two pesos. But the guy where I about to press the maestro, his buddy, he does go to Mexico City and he buys uh, a banana, but he buys in tableau size, which is this right here. And they're only three pesos. And I started using these ones. <laughs> Again, when I first started, since I was only, I only knew about this one, this side, that's how I started out, which is pretty small compared to tableau size. So yeah, so this paper, it does pretty good job. It does block, um, it does work as film. It's not perfect, but you gotta use what you have, right? And to print these, since I don't have a wide format printer, I go to Office Depot. But the only problem is that their prints are not that really dark. Which kind of causes a problem, a little bit small problem when exposing the screens because since it's not totally dark, <coughs> excuse me, since it's not totally dark, it, it doesn't block all of the light and you're exposing it and some light starts to go through. As well, this paper right here, it kind of blocks um, some of the light. So when I start exposing the screens, actually get the square, I mean this, the shape of the paper on the actual screen. But yeah, this is what I use right now. I use this for large prints. And these ones are the regular transparent um, papers. The ones that I use like, um, how do you say those old school overheads? The ones that are printed with lasers. And these are okay, but they only have them available on letter size. So I'm going to start using these for small prints because I actually like this. Since it's actually transparent, light does get through and I don't get that little like square around the stencil. But the only problem is, again, I go to Office Depot, their prints are not really that dark. So what I end up doing is printing double and I just put two films. Like I did it for my bags. It's actually two. And that way it could be really dark. And I don't want to risk overexposing. So yeah, so I'm gonna start using this paper for small prints. And I'm gonna stick to this ones for the larger prints. And luckily the screens that I use are the ones that I buy here locally. These are kind of small. I, for, I forgot the exact measurements, but the tablet size fits perfectly on this. So that's pretty okay. Now I have thought about buying some extra screen printing film, but right now it's kind of out of my pocket because I saw some online on Amazon. I think they're from Golda where they actually do import it here to Mexico. And there's a pack of 100 tablet size. Uh, I forgot the exact cost of it, but with the cost of that and the shipping for a hundred sheets, each sheet will cost me like around like between eight or ten pesos, which is basically three times more expensive than this one that I use currently use. And I do, I will one day use them in the later on in the future, but since right now I'm doing simple designs right now, it's not really required, you know, to have like a the top film because like you see this one doesn't have that many details on this one 
Like, yeah, I could get away with uh, half tones, even some YK prints using this, because I've seen the master, his same YK prints are pretty good, and all with Avenet paper. And I one day planning on buying a white format printer, because I'm tired of going to Office Depot to print my phones, because their prints are not really that dark. And there's a problem because sometimes I mess up on the files where like since I go uh, I put the films on a USB drive and I go to Office Depot and I take them. There's been times where I copy the wrong file and I go there like come back, go on another day or sometimes the, or sometimes after I print them I come home and I look at the prints and I realize that I messed up, I forgot something, I have to wait for another day to go back. So it'll come really handy to have my own printer that I could print them right away. And also so I could get them really dark. And once I do I have a white for my printer, I'm gonna uh, look into buying the actual screen printing films just to give it a try to see how they come out compared to this one because these are kind of like difficult to work with just a bit, but you can still make it work. I mean, I've seen the master do um, CYK prints using these, and they're pretty good. I think he uses up to like 65 LPI with these ones, and he still gets a uh, good print, so it's workable, but you know, I, I'm not gonna stay with these forever, you know. I do have to one day upgrade and invest in better equipment and materials. Another thing I want to mention is I've been asked a lot of questions. People have asked me a lot of questions of the film that I use, especially people from other countries. I got people from like um, India or from, also from I think how do you pronounce it? Haiti or sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, they have told me that what I use as film because in their country or their city they don't have access to actual screen print film. That the only way to get it is by importing it, but it's kind of expensive. And I tell them to use this. And if you can't find, for some reason you can't find this kind of paper, there's a way you can make it where you just get a regular uh, paper, you print your design, you place it like somewhere, I don't know, like a container, and you place uh, vegetable oil on it and just let it spread out through everything. And it makes it kind of transparent, similar to this, and then you can use that as a film. That's, I only recommend doing that if you actually don't have any access to this kind of paper. I was thinking of trying it, but I know it's going to get a little bit messy for me, and why should I do it if I already have this? But maybe, if you guys want, I'll give it a try, just to see you guys, so you guys can see how it works. Because I'm kind of curious too, but if you guys want me to do it, I'll try and do it for the video. Another thing, in case you do decide to use this paper, make sure not to get a one that's real thin but kind of thick because you're going to run into problems with use a thin one. For example, this one, this was a real thin one that I used when I was trying to print the, the calculator. The printer did not get it right, got smushed up, I had problems with this one, and this one's a little thicker, the paper came out perfect. Because this one, since this worked in, the ink just is wetting the paper and it kind of like crumples. So it's going to give you problems, especially if you're doing, you know, multicolor prints. So yeah, don't use thin ones, use pretty thick ones. Okay. For example, the ones I use for the tablet size, this is real thick. Works well. And again, this paper is known as here, a banana. Also goes by vegetable paper. Also is known as onion paper and tracing paper. So yeah, just try to look it up. Then you can find some locally at your art supply store. Alright Mangos, that's all for today's video. Just a quick explanation of the paper that I use as an alternative to screen printing film. Which will come in handy for you guys who live in a city or somewhere where you don't have easy access to screen printing film. Or like in kind of my case where not only is not I have easy access to it but kind of expensive on my part. So yeah, so this paper will help out if you just start right now. I don't recommend that you throw out your screen printing film and start using this. 
because it's cheaper and I know. Now, before I end this video, one thing, one last thing I want to mention is uh, my screeches that I order. I ordered them on Sunday, and today, which is Wednesday, I saw the FedEx tracking. It finally arrived in Mexico, in Mexico City. It got imported. So hopefully tomorrow I'll rise and I'll do an unboxing on those new squeegees. So make sure to subscribe so you can be notified when that video uploads. But in the meantime, amigos, I'll see you guys next time.